Hi Pisces. I've got the cards ready to go. Spirits. What's happening with Pisces in the present? A present for Pisces. Okay, so you got the magician. So you're probably trying to manifest something and you you have all the tools you need to do it. What's crossing you? You got the devil. So there's some type of bondage, something you're feeling chained and attached to that you're having a hard time releasing. This could be a person. This is this is a Capricorn. Um, but yeah, something you're feeling like bound to could be addictions of some sort. You might be smoking too much or something. And in the past, strength. So you've been going through a lot, but you're standing in your truth and in your strength and continuing on and it's getting you to where you need to go so keep doing that and what happened in the recent past spirits what happened in the recent past okay the four of cups so there's something that you, um, that you didn't see or that you refused. So we'll get clarification. And what are Pisces thinking about? Spirits, what are, there we go, the moon. So you're trying to bring clarity into your life and to see, you want things to come to light, secrets and um, things being revealed. And what's going to happen in the near future? The three of wands. And so, there's something that you're waiting for. Yeah, something that you are probably that you're actually manifesting, and you know what's coming in. You're waiting for it. What are Pisces faring, spirits? Okay. The Page of Pentacles and so there's probably something that you want to do like you want to start something new that you know is going to bring you financial security and um, you just need to start on it this is a new seed to something and what are Pisces, or how are other people viewing Pisces? Okay, the Nine of Swords. So maybe you've been really worried lately, feeling stuck and trapped in your head. But, so we'll get clarification on that. It looks like you got a lot of like you could be having nightmares having a hard time sleeping what are Pisces hoping for spirits what are Pisces hoping for okay the two of swords 
So you feel like you're blindfolded right now when it comes to making a major decision and um, like you're not seeing everything and so it's hard to make this decision so you're wanting to be able to see clearly so that um, you can get the bullseye and make the right decision. And what's going to happen in the future for Pisces? Spirits. Okay, so you got the Nine of Pentacles. So you're going to be feeling um, financially secure and stable. You could be single for a little while. But we'll get clarification on this. You could just be feeling very happy and content with with all of the fruits of your labors and on the bottom of the deck you have the queen of wands and so you're going after what you want nothing stopping you yeah and then the three of swords so um, you could be feeling some type of like heartbreak but this is pushing you to um, into this Queen of Wands energy where you're going after what you want and nothing's stopping you so you're in a really good energy spirits please clarify the magician in the present moment why is the magician here Spirits. Okay. So you have the Ten of Wands and you have the Star. So you're going to be putting down a very heavy, heavy burden that you've been um, carrying for quite a while, like months. You, the, you're going to be putting this down, and um, there is, you have a lot of hope for something that you want, and you're manifesting it, and there's a wish that's going to be coming true for you because of this. And why is the devil here? What is crossing Pisces? What is crossing Pisces? Okay. Then you have the Five of Wands. So this double card could be attached to some arguments that are going on around you. So just different people that are different people that are upset and bickering. But for your your personal situation, um, you'll understand what this is and know that you need to release this energy. Okay, and when you do, you're going to be able to see clearly because you have entered into a new cycle. And so you don't want to carry this energy into your new world, into your new cycle. And what happened in the past for Pisces? Okay. So you have the Knight of Wands and the Two of Wands. So you could have possibly, let's see, the Two of Wands someone could have came in towards you very quickly and it was like an in and out energy very passionate energy and I feel like you held your own and had strength through this because you have the world in your hands and you had to look out make a choice on what you wanted but something is came in moving very quickly 
And what happened in the recent past for Pisces? Spirits. Ace of Cups. So someone could have wanted to give you a brand new start in life. I, not in life, in love. I don't know why I said life. Um, and you either didn't see this um, or you just didn't want it. But they're with the Four of Cups. This was a brand new beginning in love that I think you refused. Let's get one more card for the recent past for Pisces. Spirits. Recent past for Pisces. Okay. So, um, you have the Five of Cups and you have the Hangman. So, this could have been you that offered a new beginning in love to someone else and they refused it. It could have went that way too. But, um, I see you, like, on the inside you're crying because, um, you feel like a lot of love was lost, a lot of things that you were emotional about were tipped over and lost, but you need to turn around and see there's still two full cups behind you, everything's not lost, and you are um, kind of in this hangman mode in your mind where you're looking at things in all different directions, trying to figure things out that happened. And what are Pisces thinking about? Spirits, what are Pisces thinking about? Why is the moon here? Okay, so the King of Cups. So you are feeling, you know, like you have a lot of love and emotions, but you're not showing them. You're like sitting in your power. You're wearing your heart on your, you're not wearing your heart on your sleeve. You're just, you have a lot of love, but you're not showing it. And then um, you're also thinking the Three of Wands. So there's something that you're waiting for. Something that could be hidden from you. Some information that you want. And what are Pisces bearing? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Okay, so you have the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords. So you've been through a lot of heartbreak and you don't want to have any more heartbreak. Your, your heart, um, you're, you're trying to make decisions clearly now. You want to take the blindfold off. You've been through a lot of pain and you don't want to, you don't want any more pain. There could be someone coming towards you that wants to offer you a new beginning with this page of pentacles. Okay, and how are other people viewing Pisces? Okay, so you have the Nine of Swords down there, and to clarify it, you have the Four of Cups, and so they're seeing 
view as <clears throat> really just, I feel like you're ignoring any type of love offers that are coming to you. You're not seeing them. You're, you're still feeling some heartbreak and pain. And so you're kind of in your head about that. Whatever happened, you're really stuck in your head about it. Okay. And what are Pisces hoping for, spirits? What are Pisces hoping for, spirits? So you have the Page of Pentacles again. Um, let's see, and then you have the Two of Swords. So, yeah, maybe you. This could be a new job that you're waiting for. This, this is a new start in something that's going to bring you financial security. Um, let's get another card on that too. What are Pisces hoping for, spirits? What are Pisces hoping for? Okay. Then you have the King of Swords. So you could be... You could have an air sign in your life that's very significant, but um, you want clear communication spoken to you. Um, you could be, this could be a lawsuit, a le legal matter that you're hoping to come into you. But things are going to be set straight, which is going to, there's going to be some clarity come into you that's going to allow you to start on your new journey. So you're waiting for this clarity to come in. Like, people speaking. Yeah, I feel like that's a legal matter. Because then you have the justice card in the outcome. So justice is coming your way. Justice is in your favor. Which is going to leave you feeling secure and safe. And abundant. One more card for the future for Pisces. Spirits. Spirits, one more card for the future. Okay, so the Ten of Swords. So, um, whatever this, I, th I think it was some type of a legal matter that was something that was very painful to you where you felt stabbed in the back and betrayed something with a lot of pain involved in it um it's ending um you are ready to this guy can't stab you any more than he's already stabbed you and you're ready to release this pain you've been holding on to for a very long time probably months you're ready to release it now justice is going in your favor truth is going to be spoken and then on the bottom of the deck, you have the Fool. 
So you're going to be taking a leap of faith. You're ready to, even if you don't know all the details and everything, you're ready to just go and take a leap of faith into the Ace of Wands, something that you're very passionate about. Um, you're going to be moving quickly on with the Ace of Wands. And let's get a message from the angels. Spirits, do you have a final message for Pisces? One more message for Pisces spirits. Okay. Communicate clearly. So, um, if there's people around you, you know, that you don't feel like you're on your side, communicate clearly. That will really make a big difference. Make sure you speak your truth. And then they say no. Wow. And there's another no on the bottom. So, um, I just want to get one more card because it's really odd that you have two no's. Spirits, why is the no here for Pisces? Why is no here for Pisces? Okay, so five of swords. So someone's trying to win at at any expense they don't care who they hurt to get what they want and um, there's people that are going to be deeply emotional hurt emotionally hurt and winning is it's not always worth it just to win so that could have some type of a clarification on the no because you have two no's and communicate clearly. But thank you, Pisces. I'll see you tomorrow.